Hello there, welcome to this video which is going to be focusing on what the endings iodine 8 of an ionic compound tells you. So, the basics then. If you have something that ends in ide, it means you have a metal and a non-metal. If you have something that ends in 8, you have a metal, a non-metal and oxygen on the end. So, an example of that, if we start off with our ide, we have sodium chloride, which is made up of sodium and chlorine. So it's our metal and our non-metal, which is NaCl. If we have a look at sodium chlorate, we have sodium, which is our metal, chlorine, which is our non-metal, and then oxygen, which gives us our eight ending. Okay, that's about it for this video. So let's have a look at a few examples. So here we've got calcium, we've got carbon, and then we've got oxygen on the end. That oxygen makes it calcium carbonate. In the next one, we have K, which is potassium. We have Br, which is bromine. There's nothing else, so it's bromide, potassium bromide. The next one, we have magnesium, Mg. We have sulfur, so it's magnesium sulf, and then the oxygen makes it 8, magnesium sulfate. Na is sodium, O, oxygen. In this case, there's only one non-metal, so it doesn't matter that it's oxygen, it becomes oxide, so sodium oxide. Okay, let's have a look at a question then. So this is a nice and simple one. What is the name of the element below? So you need to have a look, think about what we've just been through with the ending ID and 8, and figure out for A, B, C, and D what the names of the products are. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So if we start off with the top one. You'll obviously need to check your periodic table, certainly in the exam if you had this. So we've got Mg and we've got Br, so that's magnesium, brome, and then we've got an oxygen. So it becomes magnesium, brome, 8, because we've got two non-metals there, one of which is oxygen. So magnesium, brome, 8 for one mark. The second one, we've got lithium and carbon, so it's only one thing, so the ending should be ide. So we get lithium, carb, ide. If it had an oxygen there, it would be lithium carbonate, but it doesn't. Part C, we've got rubidium and sulfur, so it's rubidium sulf. Then it's got oxygen, so rubidium sulfate. And then finally, we've got aluminium and oxygen. Trick question, because it's got oxygen there, but no other non-metal. So instead of aluminium oxate, it's aluminium oxide. And that's your four marks. Hopefully you're feeling confident with that now. So we're going to go back up to this question that was up at the top here, which is your review question, which is describe the difference between sodium chloride and sodium chlorate. And that ends this video.